Good morning, guys. Oh, I'm so frustrated right now because I just realized that, um, well, I volunteered to bring cornstarch to Carter's school for his Dr. Seuss day, and he wasn't at school yesterday because he was sick, but I thought that it was supposed to be today but apparently it was yesterday and so I just double checked to make sure you know because I just got a weird feeling at the last minute like oh what if it isn't today it was yesterday so I volunteered to bring something and I was that parent who didn't follow through and now they had to miss out on an activity because of me so I feel really really bad Ugh and just really frustrated because I had the boxes set out for Carter to take on Monday and I told Jeremy and Carter take this to school with you today right by his backpack and of course he forgot so if he would have just brought it on Monday it wouldn't have been an issue but then again if I would have just read the thing better I could have brought it yesterday and they still would have had it so I know it's my fault but it's just really frustrating and I feel really bad because that is an ingredient that they needed and they didn't have it. So, ugh, total fail on my part. I feel just awful. Okay, I'm gonna try and let it go now because there's no, it's done with. It, there's nothing I can do. But um, I just dropped Cooper off at school. Carter is home again today. He still has a fever and he doesn't feel good. And um, I suspect this is what Cooper and Coulter had, the three day fever type thing. So hopefully tomorrow's the last day, but that's a lot of school that he's missed. So, Ugh. but um, Coulter and I are gonna run up to uh, maybe Lowe's or Home Depot. I don't know, they're both right over here, but maybe we'll go to Lowe's and uh, pick up some soil so I can plant those trees that I got yesterday. Um, although I have a feeling they're, they're not going to grow here. They were a present from my brother and sister-in-law for my birthday and they're elderberry trees. But, um, you know, berries don't really grow here. So I don't know if they really uh, looked into that too much, but that's okay. I will try and grow them. I just don't think it's going to work with 120 degree weather, but who knows? We may be surprised. So I'm going to get some soil and um, I need to plant them today. They've been soaking in water all night. So we'll get those planted. Culture. Culture, look at mama. Hi. Can you say, whoa. Uh, And I have been super productive this morning. It's noon and I cleaned our bathroom like really good because sometimes I just like kind of wipe it down but cleaned it really good. I'm cleaning the sheets and I already got dinner in the crock pot. We're gonna have, I think it's called chicken quinoa white bean soup or something like that. It's really good. It smells delicious. So here it is in the crock pot. It's gonna smell so good as it starts to go but there's chicken, like we just browned some chicken breasts down at the bottom, green onion, cilantro, a bell pepper, onion, and two jalapenos. A little bit of salt and pepper. It's gonna be delicious. So there's that. That's just to cook the chicken and make it taste amazing. And then everything else is done um, beforehand. So this is just the beginning, but it, it seriously smells like a Mexican food restaurant um, as it cooks in here. So I'm really excited. We haven't had this in a while. All right, now I'm gonna go put some laundry away. All right, I have some extra time before the baby wakes up, which he'll probably wake up in like 10 minutes, but I'm going to go through my bathroom drawers because they are a disaster and they're driving me absolutely crazy. I don't even use them because they're so full. Well, the only thing I use out of this drawer is my toothpaste and brush. And this is just, I don't even know. So I'm gonna go through it and see what's in here. Which which one has the little hand on the eight? Mm. Can you find it? No. Okay, look towards the top. Okay. 
Where's the little hand on this one? Is it at the eight yet? Almost. It's, okay, but it's not. Mm. So it's not that one. Which other? Is the little hand on the eight? No. 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 It's not? No. Is it? It is. Oh. Between the eight and the nine. And it says it is almost, or it is about half past eight. So half past would be where? The big hand would be on the six. It's just a little bit past. Got it? What's the next one say? It is almost half past seven. All right, so where's the little hand gonna be? Seven. Okay. Half past though. The big hand's gotta be near the what? Mm-hmm. That's right. We are working on homework. I contacted his teacher because I doubt he'll be going to school tomorrow if he still has a fever. So he's working on homework now and um, he'll have a test when he goes back to school. So we're working on telling time right now. All right, I am starting dinner, the soup, the crock pot. You know, it's been going all day, but now I'm gonna start the actual soup stuff. And I have my gloves on. These are huge on me because they're Jerry's, but um, I'm gonna cut jalapenos. And I have cut jalapenos so many times without gloves. And when we were in Oregon last summer, I cut jalapenos for homemade salsa and I burned my hands. Like it seriously felt like I had a sunburn on my hands. It was the most awful feeling. So I looked up like all these natural remedies online because like I couldn't take it anymore. If you got it in your heat, it would hurt really bad. I couldn't wash my hands, anything like that. But um, I think eventually I rubbed olive oil after like soaking them in milk and like tea and like all this weird stuff. But I rubbed olive oil on them and it took away the burn right away. So just a tip if you have jalapeno burn, but I'm not going to. That sounded like a big swallow. Yeah, it did. And that was just half of it. I'm gonna growl. Rawr. Our soup turned out delicious. It's a little bit mm -hmm. spicy. I've almost eaten all of it now, but it's yummy. Just spicy. <laughs> yummy. <laughs> What's the owl say? <laughs> do you remember? Now you're not gonna do it. Say, whoo. Papa. Whoo, whoo. Papa. That's owl. owl. Can you say turtles? <laughs> turtle. What's this? Hi. <laughs> Can you say turtle? Okay. Good job. <laughs> Apple. Apple. Can you say, or what does the monkey say? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ooh, ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, uh. Good job. Uh. What does the snake Apple? say? What's the snake? Apple. Apple, yeah. What does the snake say? I'm going. Hmm? Go. Coulter. Oh, apple. Oh, 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 oh. An apple. Apple. Okay. And what does the bee say? All right, he's done with his tricks. We should have recorded you the first time we asked you all the questions. <laughs> he does have his apple, though. He didn't want to take the last one we gave him. Mmm. Nummy. Ooh, sprinklers. What are you guys working on? Soil. We are planting our twigs. Um, because they need to be planted. And what planted. are the twigs? Um, I said yesterday, they're the elderberry trees. That I got for my birthday. We shall see. Yeah, and we'll get elderberry sour. Cooper, where does the elderberry syrup come from? Plants. But how do you make it? Mm. What do you think? Do you have to catch the syrup from the plant? Yes. What do you catch it with? A bowl. A bowl? Like flour. That's gross. 
Hopefully not. Wait, um, I do actually have a video of how we make so elderberry syrup. Jacko. So I'll link that below. If She'll I put remember. a link in the doodly doo. Yeah, from locally doo to This looks like a pretty quick process. What do you mean? Filling it up with soil. Are you being sarcastic? Yeah. Well, he's. We have buckets. We don't have the shovels. <laughs> I think the buckets are better than a shovel anyway. I think so too. Well, these are for plants. These plants. Yeah, and you know what? Uh -huh. I bought flowers today, so we can plant. Hi. Well, they're out front. We should actually. He's just in and out, in and out of the house. Great fun. Okay, Carter. Coulter um, is going to like the tools bucket. Oh, he's not going to fall with you. He thinks he's in trouble. Ugh. He put on the vest. He's so proud of himself. Let me see, baby. <laughs> he has his head through the armhole. That's so good. Good job. That's a good boy. Where are you going? You might trip. Nothing in. Not so good. Hi. Doggy. Doggy. Uh, that's right. Roof, roof. <laughs> oh, this is not safe. We got two more. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 